Well, last year was an amazing year for homeschooling. According to, as a result of the COVID virus, uh, according to the Census Bureau, 28% of the students in Alaska were homeschooling in September and October. In Oklahoma, it was 20%, and Texas was kind of in the middle of the pack at 12.3%, but that was almost a tripling of the number of homeschoolers. So the big question as we, as we get into August here, we're getting ready to go back to school, the big question on everyone's mind is how many of these people will continue? Will the homeschool surge continue? And I've got great news. The answer is yes. But before I get there, I want to give a shout out to the good friends at Alpha Omega Press. Alpha Omega Press is a uh, award-winning curriculum, Christian curriculum provider. They've been around since 1977. Be, please be sure to check out their products. Monarch, Switched On Schoolhouse, Life Pack, Horizons, at Ignite Christian Academy on their website at aop.com. So as we get to this issue of why is, why is the homeschooling surge continuing, there are four reasons. Four reasons the homeschool surge is continuing, not just in Texas, but across the country. So first of all, nobody expected the Delta variant of the, home, of the coronavirus to hit, but it has hit. And a lot of the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that we saw last year is now back upon us. Some, some of the, uh, so the serious doubt that people have in terms of sending their kids to school, you've got the vaccination that's not available for children 12 and under, or under 12 uh, is an issue for some people. So a lot of the uncertainty about public school is a reason. All of that's around the, vir the virus. Washington, uh, the Wall Street Journal recently did a great uh, article on that virus. The CDC has been all over the board but as a result of the CDC's uh, positions all over the board, there's a great deal of fear and uncertainty that is driving a lot of parents to say, you know what, we're going to choose homeschooling. We're going to try that homeschooling. Number two, uh, last year we saw a lot of schools, in fact, most of the public schools went to an online school. Uh, this was not very well received by a lot of people. Uh, kids were having to sit in front of a computer screen for six hours a day. But what has changed in that regard is the funding for that for schools died in the legislative session. So most public schools do not even have the online option that was available for last year. So as a result of that, many parents are saying, well, my option is to send my kid to the school where I don't, I don't want the, um, the masks, or I do want the masks, or I'm concerned about all this stuff. So my choice is in-person in school or homeschooling. And as a result of that, many folks are taking the plunge in homeschooling. And then another big issue related to schools in Texas and across the country is this whole issue of critical race theory. Uh, critical race theory is this uh, theory that's being taught in public schools and college campuses uh, that really is about uh, racism uh, as an endemic uh, syst systemic issue uh, and many many parents have a real concern about that. You're seeing that as a result of parents uh, getting involved in the process trying to change the school district's use of critical race theory and some people are simply just saying you know what I'm not ex exposing my kid to that we're going to take full control of the education of our children we're gonna homeschool and then finally what we're seeing is that a number of people uh, uh, are saying, you know what, we chose to homeschool last year. It's been a great situation for our family, and we're going to continue to do that. So there have been a number of news stories. One business did a poll. They surveyed over 2,000 homeschoolers who started homeschooling after January of 2020. And here's what they found. In this scientific poll, 72% of these homeschoolers said, you know what, we're going to keep homeschooling. 19% said we're going to send our kids back to a brick and mortar school and 9% said, you know what, we haven't decided yet. And this matches the anecdotal evidence we've been seeing from families who said, you know what, I never would have done this if it weren't for the virus, but it was an amazing thing for our family. So not just, we've had anecdotal evidence, some people are saying, you know, our kids never did this well academically in school. They are doing really amazingly well. 
And a lot of families said, you know what, we did not realize how much stress there was in our lives because of the, the schedule that we had to meet as a family to keep up with the public school schedule. So a lot of these families are saying, you know what, this is great for us academically. It was amazing for our family. Less stress, more family time, wonderful, wonderful situation for our families. So there you have it. The four reasons that homeschooling is surging this year in Texas and across the country. The fear, uncertainty, and doubt related to the virus. The lack of online uh, public school choices that we had last year. Uh, the critical race theory that many people do not want to, their kids exposed to. And finally, the positive benefits both academically and socially and lack of stress for their kids at home. So click on the links below for more information. Go to our website, thsc.org. We've got a great tool there. You can disenroll your kids from public school in two minutes. So we like to say homeschool. You can do it. We can help. thsc.org. And thank you for helping us keep Texas families free.